Hello and welcome to another Advanced Rheumatology and Arthritis Research Center anti-inflammatory cooking class. I am Rosemary Altimus, on-site nutrition counselor. Today we will be making Whole30 tuna patties and sweet potato fries in our air fryer. This recipe and other cooking classes can be found on our webpage, advancedrheumatology.net, under Wellness Services. They also can be seen on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest cooking classes, forums, and disease lectures. Remember to tick the notification button for when new videos are posted. Let's begin. We're going to begin today making air fryer sweet potato fries. So earlier I cut my potatoes, I peeled them, my sweet potatoes, and cut them. If you're going to cut them early, what you're going to want to do is keep them in water in the refrigerator. Um, so the uh, recipe calls for two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So we'll get that in here. And this is just to coat them. The air fryer is so wonderful because you don't use a lot of fat in your cooking. So it makes it um, healthier for you. But we're also using healthy oil. Okay, we're going to mix these around a little bit and get the kind of coat them around with the oil. Okay, and to that we're going to add some spices. We're going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to add one teaspoon of Himalayan pink sea salt. We're going to add one fourth teaspoon of paprika. Give them a little kick. And then we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. We'll give them a good toss. Coat them with all the salt and the spices. Now, we can preheat, every, everybody's air fryer is different, but we can preheat this air fryer and we're going to preheat it to 400 degrees. We're going to open our basket up. You can buy different size air fryers. This is a nice large one. And to um, help keep the cleanup easy, we're going to put some parchment paper inside of here. And then we're going to layer our coated sweet potato fries in the basket. Again, if, you're, if your um, air fryer tells you to do it, you can preheat. This one doesn't have a preheat setting, so it might take a few more minutes to cook these, these fries. But the, this, uh, the, the air fryer makes sweet potato fries or French fries very good, really crispy and delicious. It makes it so easy instead of getting a pot of oil out and cooking with oil, hot oil. Okay, so there they are in the fryer. And we're going to start it and we're going to cook them, start at 12 minutes, and we'll check them in between time and turn them in, in, the, in the in between. We're about halfway through the cooking time. So we're going to take them out, and you can definitely see they're starting to brown a little bit and get a little soft. they still got a, while, a way to go. It's probably going to be a little more time. Yeah, they're starting to brown. Okay. Another thing that we're going to be making today, a recipe, is going to be a Whole30 tuna patties. We're going to heat up... Um, this skillet to, I don't know, close to 350. All right. And we're going to put our tuna. This is tuna packed in oil. It's a much better flavor. Um, this is in albacore. It's an albacore tuna packed in olive oil. It's a very good tuna fish. Put these in here. I did drain the oil off of them but there is still a little bit on it, so that's fine. It'll help to hold the patties together. Okay, and we're gonna just kinda break it up in here. Tuna fish is really good for you. It's high in omega-3s. And you really wanna put fish in your diet. When you're doing anti-inflammatory diet, you wanna eat fish a couple times a week. Tuna fish is included in that wild-caught uh, 
salmon and cod also. Okay, to that we're going to add one egg as a binder. Now instead of using a gluten product, we're going to put in some almond flour. And that is one and a half tablespoons of almond flour. Another thing we're going to add to it is mayonnaise. And it's one and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. This is an avocado mayonnaise. Uh, what I just bought not too long ago is a called Sir Kensington's, and it was very, very good mayonnaise. Also to this tuna fish, we're going to be adding some dill, dill, uh, dried dill. It's about a teaspoon of dried dill in there. And some garlic powder. That's one about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And some onion powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. And some um, salt and pepper, a pinch of each. Also, to help the tuna fish kind of take the fishy taste away, we're going to add some, a half of a lemon, the juice of half of a lemon. I'm going to mix these together real well. And it's pretty good. Sometimes you'll have to add a little more of the binder, and that would be a little more of the... Um, the almond flour or coconut flour I have, but I would, I would probably use the almond. Coconut flour has a tendency to really suck up any, any um, if anything is, is moist, it'll suck it right up. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna make, um, we're gonna make the patties now. We're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of oil to this, and I'm just gonna, because it's preheated, In this nonstick skillet. Uh, this would make four patties. That's how what the recipe calls for. Of course, if you want to um, make uh, double it, if you have more people or you want to make more, but it makes approximately four patties. Kind of divided that up there. I make my patties real big. I kind of make them a little thicker. We're going to put it in the hot oil. These aren't going to take long to cook at all. The only thing it really has to cook is the egg, pretty much. The tuna fish is already cooked, but the egg, to keep you safe, we want to make sure we cook, cook, um, cook the egg in them. It only takes about five minutes on each side. And one more. This one's a little bit bigger. Have that quite. Okay, we're just going to let them cook until they're brown, and then we'll flip them. If you're going to eat fish, we were talking about fish here. Tuna fish in a can's fine. If you can find uh, tuna, uh, it, you know, tuna steaks, you can use those as well. But I really prefer that you would eat um, wild caught fish, and you can find that at the store. The farmed fish has a lot of antibiotics. They use um, a lot of, um, they raise them in very close areas, so they have to use antibiotics on the fish. Um, so you want to be careful and get the wild caught. Uh, that goes with, with shrimp and any kind of seafood as well. Turn this up a little. Let's take a look and see. Now they got a while to go. Okay. We're going to check them. I believe they're about ready to be flipped. They're brown. They browned up real nicely for us.
and about five minutes on this side as well. And then we'll be ready to plate up. All right, the tuna patties are finished. We've cooked them for about five minutes on the opposite side and they're nice and brown, they're ready to go. And meanwhile, the um, sweet potato fries are completed and they're done as well. And we're gonna plate everything up. Let's plate up the sweet potato fries, the serving. Remember, if you have an air fryer at home, you need to get it out. An air fryer makes things so much quicker and it makes them very easy. And once again, we didn't use very much oil at all. And a serving's about two patties. Okay, and there we have our finished product. Whole 30 tuna patties and sweet potato fries made in the air fryer. Thank you for watching this month's anti-inflammatory cooking class. Today we made whole 30 tuna patties and sweet potato fries in the air fryer. This is another great choice in anti-inflammatory cooking. Please follow us on Facebook as well as our YouTube channel. And remember, a healthy outside starts from the inside.